हेलो एवरीवन आई एम मिस्टर सचिन राठौड़ वर्किंग इन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट फ्रॉम डब्ल्यू आई टी सोलापुर टुडे वी विल सी द कंसेप्ट ऑफ लॉ ऑफ गेरिंग सो द लर्निंग आउटकम ऑफ दिस सेशन इज एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द लॉ ऑफ गेरिंग इंट्रोडक्शन द लॉ ऑफ गेरिंग स्टेट्स दैट the normal that is a common normal at the point of contact between a pair of teeth must always pass through the pitch point so you can think about this whether is it necessary to check the law of gearing the answer is as the law of gearing states the condition which must be fulfilled by the gear tooth profile to maintain the constant angular velocity ratio between the two gears for example if you are going to design the gear that is a meshing gear at the time after the designing if you are getting the failure between the velocity ratio we are not getting the constant velocity ratio between the two meeting gear then at the end result it will gives the separation of the tooth will occurs so that is not get that that one we are not getting the proper alignment between the two gear that is a proper meshing we are not getting so for that purpose we require to check the law of gearing while the designing so we will see what is in my law of gearing so first thing is that we will check okay so i will draw the two teeth of the gear from which we are getting whether we are satisfying the law of gearing or not consider this is a one tooth and it is mating with the another tooth of the gear so like this one complete gear tooth profile is there and another gear tooth profile is like this so just i have taken a two tooth of the gear both are mating about this point so consider this is a o1 center point and this is a o2 center point o1 is a center point of for the gear the gear number 1 o2 is a center point of the gear number 2 both are meeting at point a right so this is a meeting point when we are drawing tangent line this will gives you common tangent and perpendicular to this is common normal common normal this is a meeting point a so our ultimate aim about this law of gearing we have to get the angular velocity ratio between the two gear is constant so suppose this is a gear number 1 which is rotated by angular velocity omega 1 so this gear number 2 will rotate by the angular velocity omega 2 so suppose this is a o1 a is nothing but the radius of meeting point at a and o2 a is the radius of second gear about the a point so the velocity is perpendicular to the radius for that purpose we have to draw the velocity perpendicular to the o1 a1 this is rotated in the in the anti clockwise direction so draw the perpendicular line so it will gives the velocity of o a so for the simplification purpose we will give the naming as a1 and a2 a1 is a meeting point of your the radius o1 a1 and this is the o2 a2 so this will gives you the velocity of v a1 similarly the o2 a2 radius we have drawn the another velocity as v a2 next draw the perpendicular line to common normal 
will give name as M. This one is a perpendicular line. That is a N. The perpendicular line makes the angle with O and A one. That is the radius is alpha, and the perpendicular line with the radius it makes an angle beta. So as per the geometrical consideration, we are getting the angle alpha one or alpha v a one velocity of o one a one radius. We are getting the v a one makes an angle alpha, and v a two makes an angle beta with the common normal because common normal is perpendicular to common tangent, and we have drawn o one a one is a perpendicular line, and it makes an angle alpha. So by considering this geometry we are getting the alpha and beta angle with the common normal so this is a diagram for satisfying the law of gehring now we will check how to verify the law of gehring so first of all the condition is that for Two gear remains in contact. The velocity component of the velocity, that is the VA one and VA two, along the common normal, should be zero. The resultant of this velocity should be zero. Otherwise, if the velocity resultant of this velocity is not going to zero, then the separation of these two tooth will occur. For that purpose, VA one cos alpha minus VA two cos of beta should be equal to Zero. So, if this condition satisfied, then and then only the two tooth remains in contact. Therefore, we are knowing v velocity is nothing but radius into the angular velocity. So, for the first gear, the radius is o one a one into the angular velocity omega one into cos of alpha is equal to v two v a two. That is nothing but the o two a two into omega two into cos of beta. Okay, then O one A one into omega one into cos of alpha by considering this triangle, cos of alpha we are getting this triangle O one M A cos alpha is equal to O one O one M divided by O one A one O one M divided by O one A one is equal to O two A two into omega two into cos of beta is equal to O two n divided by O two A two. So this will get cancelled. So we are getting omega one into O one m is equal to omega two into O two n. So by considering this similar triangle O one m. So if I joining this two center. So along the common order, we are getting the P point that is called as the pitch point. So by considering triangle O one M P and O two N P triangle O one M P and triangle O two N P by the similar triangle rule, we are getting O one M divided by O two N is equal to O one P divided by O two P. Therefore, if you put the value O one M divided by O two N is equal to O one P by. Therefore, omega one by omega two is equal to O two N by O one M is equal to O two P divided by O one P. Therefore, we are getting omega one by omega two is equal to O two P by O one P. so by referring this equation the angular velocity between gear number 1 and 2 is equal to the ratio of the distance between a center point of o1 and o2 that is nothing but the ratio of omega 1 by omega 2 is equal to o2 p by o1 p nothing but the o2 p by o1 p therefore the p point must be your the fixed point If you are satisfy the law of Gehring, so for that purpose we are knowing the law of Gehring. So by this equation, 
omega 1 by omega 2 is equal to O2P by ONP. The P point must be the fixed point. If you want to check the law of gearing, then the ratio of the angular velocity between the two gear must be the zero. According to that, we have to design the distance O2P by O1P. These are my reference. Thank you.